In Titlebox, you can link objects to pre-configured data providers, so that they display information from external sources. Open the Data Source Manager. It contains a list of all available Titlebox objects to the left, as well as a list of data sources to the right. You can edit the name of an existing provider by using the Edit button. You can also delete a data provider by selecting it and pressing the minus button. Press the plus button to add a new data provider. In our example, we will output information from a text file in the yellow text boxes. The text file contains three columns separated by tabs. Add the file link data provider and select the desired text from the browser. Check the header row box if you do not want the column headers to be displayed. Check the format rows option if you have a column delimiter and select the respective delimiter. Enable the skip blank rows option if you do not want empty lines to be displayed. Press OK and notice that a new data source appears in the list. Link the data provider to the desired object. For this purpose, drag the file link data source to the text box for displaying the first column. Notice the dialog that appears. This is the data distributor, used for configuring the link between the data provider and all objects which display its information. Select Automatic Update if you want the data displayed to be updated immediately when the information in the data source changes. Set the 3 second cursor scroll time, press OK. In the next dialog, configure the properties of the link between the data source and the currently selected object. Use the Field drop-down menu to select which column you would like to be displayed. Here you can also set a custom cursor offset. Repeat the steps for columns 2 and 3. Set a 2-row offset to column 3. When you are ready, view the result in the preview. Notice that column 3 displays a different line number. Now let us create an RSS data provider for displaying the title and publication date of the CNN top stories. Open the Data Source Manager and add a new RSS Atom Data Provider 1. In the dialog that appears, enter the address of the desired RSS feed. Test the feed to check if the connection is successful. Press Play and close the dialog. Drag new data source to the text object which should display the title. From the field drop-down list of the Object Link Properties dialog, select Title. Now drag the CNN RSS data provider to the publication date text object and select the publish date from the field drop-down menu. Close the data source manager and view the result. Let us create a new RSS data source to display BBC Sports headlines. This time add RSS Atom Data Provider 2 in the data source manager. Enter the desired RSS address and link the new data provider to the respective crow object. 
The difference between the two RSS sources is that in the second type all lines from the source are shown together, while in the first type information is displayed line by line. Take a look at the other options available in the Data Distributor dialog. You can add custom settings for the cursor and object control. In the Object Link Properties dialog, select Title from the Field drop-down menu. Press OK and view the result in the preview. Finally, let us output the temperature in Sofia, Bulgaria in the red text box at the bottom of our project. Add a new weather data provider. In the Station field, enter Sofia and select the weather service. Drag the data provider to the respective text object. Enter a 60 second update time. Press OK and select the temperature in Celsius in the next dialog. The current temperature in Sofia is now displayed. 